while a warning has been extended to the coast of North Carolina. We sent CBS North Carolina's Jonathan Rodriguez to Atlantic Beach the moment this storm started to form. He joins us live from there this morning. Good morning, Jonathan. What are you dealing with out there, man? It is. I'll tell you, good morning. We are here along the beach access, pouring down rain at this point. We're just getting hammered. It really since five o'clock yesterday. That's when this thing started. Hasn't stopped since. That's been basically the story out here. And the big worry is flooding. Also, the wind has picked up. If you take a look behind me, you can kind of see the flags and give you an idea of how gusty it is out here. I know this entire area along the beach under a tropical storm warning, which means those winds could exceed 40 miles an hour. And it certainly feels like it is at some points. That's not scientific measurement. That's just based on if my hat's going to blow away. But basically, we've seen it picked up throughout the area. It is a disorganized storm and it's funny because you can actually tell that being on the ground. Sometimes it'll be a lot more windy. Sometimes it lets up. Sometimes a lot more rain. Sometimes it lets up, but it certainly hasn't stopped raining as we're coming up throughout the area. We've already seen water starting to pond in some of the low lying areas, but we talked to the fire department. They say they are ready for this. Of course, if you live in this area, you're prepared for that, right? In fact, Atlantic Beach's entire area is pretty much just a sandbar, so they know they're at sea level, so it's going to take some time for this water to dissipate. So they're keeping a close eye on that. Also, all the boats throughout the area, they wanted to get them all docked through at the um, sound side before they're not. They don't want them out in the water. This is the tropical storm continues to move this way. Now, the beach yesterday, it's the middle of June. You expect this to be super busy, right? Not the case. We saw maybe two or three people out there. In fact, we saw one couple who even in the pouring rain, they brought their cooler out. They were going to make the best of it. But we expect the same today. Pretty empty. In fact, not a safe day to be at the beach. I don't know if you can see the surge behind me, but it's starting to pick up. Of course, the risk there are high surf um, rip currents throughout the area as Colin makes its way up. So we're going to continue to monitor conditions out here, but for the most part, just a lot of rain and probably no end in sight for the next couple of hours. So we'll check back in with you a little bit later, guys. Jonathan, thanks a lot. Colin, looks like it's ruining some vacation plans. Yeah, today. no doubt about it. It is the beginning yeah. of that vacation time. Now